Hey guys, so as you probably noticed, there are so many new drugstore beauty products coming out. For the beginning of the year, they always do this, like January and then again in like June or July for the summer stuff. So, of course, I've been picking up a lot of stuff. I can't even help it. Like, Walgreens has a new display for like all the new things and they have so many things I've never even seen advertised yet, so it's so exciting. So today I wanted to review one of the new products I picked up for you guys. I insta hauled it a couple days ago, a week ago, maybe. I don't know. I picked it up at Walgreens and I actually like wrote down like a rubric of how I was going to grade it. So there are 10 categories. There are 10 points each. So um, I gave it a score out of 100. So the product I picked up is one from the new line of Rimmel lipsticks. Um... It's one of the Kate Moss ones. They have a regular Kate Moss collection, the Lasting Finish by Kate lipstick, but these are like the matte collection. Because especially in um, the UK, the matte lip trend is really big. And I was reading the Kesha 17, and one of the girls, um, Punky Chaz, Chaz um, she talks about the edgy dark red matte pout and how it's really popular in England, and it's supposed to be really popular for this fall, not fall, um, <laughs> spring in the U.S. and everywhere too. I love lip products, so of course I had to pick this up. I think there are about, I don't know, like seven, eight, or nine colors in this collection, and most of them are reds, and there's this really pretty color that Kate Moss is wearing. It's like a dark blacky brown red, but I can never find it. It's always sold out. Um, the first time I saw it, it was available, but I was like, nah, I would never wear that color. And now I'm like, you know what, I should have picked that up. I could have added it to my review, but I can't find it anywhere now. It's always the only color that's sold out. So, um, the one I picked up instead is 103. And my logic behind this was that if it was like a pinky red, didn't want to go all out pink because there weren't any like bright pinky colors I really liked in the collection. But if it was a pinky red, I thought I could dress it up or down for every day or not. It's kind of like a purpley pinky red. Swatch it for you guys. This is what it looks like. Actually, now that I swatch it, it kind of looks like vintage pink by Rimmel. You can see a little bit of a shine here. I don't know if that's the oil from my hand or what, but um, these are supposed to be matte lipsticks. Uh, back to the color selection. That was the first category I have on my list, and I gave it a 6 out of 10 because there's like that really dark red. There's a bunch of reds, so if you like reds, it's really good, but me personally, not so much. Taylor Swift would probably love this collection if she liked matte lips, but um, there's like one really light nude color, but there's just a lot of like weird in-between colors. I don't know how many people are really going to pick them up. This, oh, my lips are so chapped right now. That's super embarrassing. But this is like a My Lips But Better color on me. But that's what I gave the um, color selection. And then the packaging I think is really cute. Because how many red lipsticks have you ever seen? Drugstore or otherwise. Like, I feel like this will really stand out of anyone's collection. It has like their regular packaging just red. It has Rimmel right here and then the little Kate signature. I think this is really, really cute and well done. I really like this packaging a lot. So I gave that a 10 out of 10. Now the taste and smell. Just from swatching it, I can smell it. And once you get it on, you can kind of just taste it. So that's why I put taste. Um, it smells, it's like overly fruity. It's like, it's like pleasant, but it's just really strong. It really reminds me of when I was little. I had like these mini, mini little Barbie lipsticks that I always thought were chapstick, so I put them on all the time, but when my mom started to take them away from me, because I would wear them all the time, and I'd have, like, bright pink lips, um, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, like, they just, it's just this really strong, like, little girl fruity scent, like, I don't even know how to, like, it kind of smells lipsticky, but it's, like, really fake strawberry or something, I don't even know, like, I like it, but it's just, like, too much after a while. Like, it reminds me of that so much. I, oh, it's just weird. Like, it's definitely not, like, any other lipstick I've ever tried. It's definitely not, like, the Moisture Renew Rimmel lipsticks. I've never tried any other Rimmel lip product, I don't think. So, maybe their regular lipsticks are like this, too, but it's just so weird. So, I gave that a 7 out of 10, because it's not, like, gross, but it's just, like, weird and overpowering and not what you'd expect from a lipstick. Like, it smells like the chapstick of a five-year-old or something. 
Like if baby lips tasted like this, I would understand. But like this is a little lipstick. That's a little weird. So pigmentation, I gave an 8 out of a 10. It does not look like it looks in the tube on your hand. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so, so right here from the tube to my hand, it looks kind of similar. But like it comes off so different. It looks like a brighter pinky color in the tube. And yet on my hand, it's more like brown-ish. I'm gonna put it on for you guys because I hate when people review things and then don't try them on especially when it's like a lip product so I'm just putting some chapstick on first and this does give my lips a little bit of a shine so if the lipstick isn't completely matte that is why and this way you guys can also see um, the ease of applying because I gave texture feel slash how easy it is to apply a category and I gave it an 8 because it kind of like drags it's probably because it's a matte lip color, but it kind of drags when you're applying. It's not like the smoothest thing in the world. But I mean, it's not bad, but it's just like... I feel like MAC lipsticks are better in that category. So see, the color looks a lot different, at least to me, on than in the tube. I think it's more pink on, which I like, but it just doesn't look like it does in the tube. So I gave pigmentation 8 out of 10 just because it doesn't look the same in the tube. But I mean, it is pretty pigmented. Like you saw how right away the color just like gets on your lips. Personally, I do not think this is a very good color for me. It looks kind of like I have Kool-Aid lips or like super chapped, like swollen red lips. I don't, I don't know. I just... I do not like this color on me and I've never had like a lipstick where I didn't like the color. Staying power I gave a 9 out of 10 because I was drinking things the night I was testing this and it didn't come off for a long time. I think because it's matte it can cling to your lips a lot better. But going back to the fact that it is a matte lip color I gave um does it hold up to its claims like is it really a matte lipstick a category and I did give it a 9 out of 10 because it is pretty matte but right now it does not look matte like at all because I put the chapstick underneath so you do have to blot I mean that's one way if you don't like matte lip colors and you like end up buying these or have one by mistake you can just um put a chapstick underneath or gloss over it to make it not matte but I find that if I blot it it usually makes like the shine from the chapstick and just the shine in general because the lipstick does give you a tiny bit of a shine when you put it on by itself but it makes the shine go away if you blot see now I still have the color but it's completely matte so it does hold up to its claims I just added something else which totally screwed it up um so I do like this product a lot I feel like I do want to go get it in another color although I'm not crazy about the color choices. It's hard to see them when you're at the drugstore because like the little um, display, it shows you like a little card of the colors, but it doesn't really help. So I was sitting there opening them all up, twisting them up, looking around like, oh my God, hope no one thinks I'm doing anything sketchy. But I just really want to see what the color actually looks like. And also you have to make sure that no one has like used these before you because there's no sticker to keep them closed. You always have to be careful about that. But see, the lip is completely matte. And I like that look a lot. I don't know why. I feel like it looks very sophisticated. Probably makes you look like very British, like it's a British thing, but I think the swatch looks a little different. Like this looks more brown and you put it on and it's more pink. Like it just doesn't match. Um, what you think the colors would look like, but if you do want a kind of ready pinky color like this I'm getting kind of washed out from my lighting, but I think it is pretty true to how it looks in real life um, So if you do like this And ready bright pink, I don't even know what color this is It's a 103 kind of color Then um, I would suggest this color for you I feel like it just doesn't go with my skin tone. I don't know. It just drives me nuts, but I do like the matte texture. I do like the product itself. I just do not like the specific one I picked up. So I'm trying not to let that get in the way of how I'm trying to review like the product itself. So the other categories were price. I believe this was $5.49 at Walgreens and that's pretty good. Usually Rimmel stuff is pretty recent, um, decently priced whenever I find it. So I gave that a 10 out of 10. I mean it could always be cheaper but I thought that was pretty reasonable like 
it's like a dollar fifty more than baby lips like that's not bad at all and there's a lot of product in here you're going to be using this for a while so i feel like lipsticks last forever so i feel like that's very decent to pay for a lipstick if it's like six dollars and under I'm okay with that. The last category, well, second to last, was Ease to Find, and I gave that a 6 out of 10 because I've only seen these at Walgreens. I've seen them at every Walgreens I've been to this collection, but I have not seen them at CVS. Um, trying to think. I don't think I've been to Walmart recently, but CVS doesn't have them. CVS doesn't have, like, any of the new brands, which drives me nuts. But that's what I gave a score. And then overall, I give it, it was another category, and I gave it an 8 out of 10. Um, the big cons for me was just, like, the color selection and the flavor was a little weird. But overall, it is a really good product. So if you add everything up, it got an 81 out of 100, which, you know, would be a B- minus in school. But I'm rounding it up to a B because I really do like this product. I think it's adorable. Like, if you pulled this out of your purse, everyone's going to be like, whoa, what's that? It's so cute. Who's Kate? So, yeah, just the smell is weird. Like, if you ever are walking by these in Walgreens, you should like look at the colors and see if there's any you'd actually want. I feel like maybe I should get a red just because like matte lips are meant for red, I guess. I don't know. But I, I do want to pick up another one of these probably in the one she's wearing. Um, the only other thing that drives me nuts is that they don't have names on these. They're just numbers. So I like forget which one I have um i think one of them has a name but just one so that's really weird um the overall i do get this product like a b it's probably it would probably be higher than that but just the way i gave the points i'm a tough grader um it came out to that so i hope this was a detailed enough review for you guys i did take some pictures of this with my ipad so i guess i'll do like a blog post with more like swatches and stuff if you would like to see them in different lighting, I tried it on with my glasses, so I look like a little different with different makeup and stuff, but um, hopefully that will help you guys. Um, thank you for watching, and if you would like to request other new drugstore products for me to review, I know a lot of gurus are doing these, but like, I haven't seen any on certain products that I've been really interested in. If you guys have any requests for new products you want to see me try, I would love to do another review on these. I love doing reviews, but I feel like if I just do a review on any old product, it will be really boring and no one will want to watch it. But when it's like new and stuff and no one's really heard about it, I like kind of giving products like this that you may not have heard about a, you know, little shout out. So, um, yeah, let me know. I do have a lot of other new products that I probably will be making videos in this series about. So stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys later. Bye.